All right, here's a fun fact. I honestly don't remember the last time I created a home screen setup for my phones. And with this whole era of Android 12 and Material U theming and whatnot, it kind of led me to believe the fact that, well, it might just be RIP for Android home screen setups. But you guys were the ones who gave me that forward nudge, and that was enough to get me back to my drawing boards, and I came up with this very minimal looking yet aesthetic home screen setup for my phones that I wanted to share with you guys today. So after a very long time indeed, Let's jump into the tutorial and get our phone set up. Alright, now to follow along with the tutorial, you need to download a few files onto your phones. And the first one will have to be a custom launcher, which in this case is none other than the OG Nova launcher. But in fact, this is not the official one that is found on the Google Play Store. In fact, this is an unofficial release of their app, which I found from their official Discord community. So you need to be a member of that community in order to download the app, and I'll have the link to join the community and download the APK in the description down below. Also, make sure to download the latest Nova Launcher Prime application from the Google Play Store if you want to take advantage of all the features that Nova Launcher provides you. And since this is a tutorial that involves Nova Launcher, I went ahead and created a Nova backup file for you guys. So you can directly load it onto your phones and that will indeed save you a lot of time during the setup process. So you can download the Nova backup file that is also linked in the description down below and that will make things easier. Now for our wallpaper, we'll be using an application called Walward Wallpapers, which honestly, if you guys haven't tried out yet, you're missing out on a lot. I know it's a paid app, but you know what? It's well worth it. And guess what? The dev was actually kind enough to share 10 promo codes for you guys, which I'll be sharing on my Twitter and Instagram. So if you want to grab hold of Walward absolutely free of charge, make sure to follow me there. Next, we come to our icon pack of choice, which is none other than Beeline. I just love this icon pack. These linear styled icons are pure eye candy. Moving on to the widgets, we will be using KWGT. So go ahead and download both KWGT and the Pro Key from the Play Store. Again, link down below. And then let's download the skin packs. So for this home screen setup, I went with four different skins for KWGT that are all found in the Google Play Store. And these are also free to download. So I got you covered with that. So in no particular order, we have Instinct, Flow, Vanilla, and the mini music player for KWGT. So once you have downloaded all of these applications along with the ones that I told to download earlier, you are now officially ready to jump into the tutorial. You ready? All right, let's jump in. All right, now we'll be starting off by changing our wallpaper. So let's go to our app drawer and select wall rod. Now I have my personal favorite ones that I added to the favorites section as you can see right here. And for this tutorial, I'll be using this one called beautiful forest year one. Let's tap on apply then select set both and then tap on OK to apply our wallpaper. Nice. All right, now let's go ahead and set up our Nova Launcher. So to download the latest APK, you need to be a member of the Nova Launcher Discord community. And if it isn't quite obvious by now, I am a long time member of the community. So I am just going to go ahead and download the APK right here. Let's hit download anyway, and the APK will start downloading onto our devices. Once the download is completed, tap open and then tap on install to install Nova Launcher onto our phones. Next, tap on done and let's get back to our main home screen. Now we'll be setting up Nova Launcher as our default home screen launcher. So let's go to settings and tap on apps, then tap on default apps and then tap on home. Here, select Nova Launcher as your default home app and as you can see right here, you'll be greeted with the Nova Launcher setup screen. All right, now since we already have the Nova backup file for this particular setup, let's go ahead and tap on restore it now and then select the Nova backup file that we downloaded earlier. You'll get a prompt to override the current layout, which we are of course trying to do. So tap on OK. And now once you swipe up to go to your home screen, you'll be greeted with the backbone of the setup that we are trying to replicate. And just like that, most of the setup is already replicated onto our phones with just a simple restore functionality. This is hands down one of the reasons why I love Nova Launcher. All right, now let's start setting up the widgets. Let's tap on the top one right here and that will land us onto the KWGT application. Here, you basically need to grant a few permissions to the app. So I'll fast forward this part. And at the very final step, you'll be required to create a folder for KWGT for it to create localized backups and other files that it needs for the widgets. So let's go ahead and create a folder and name it custom. Oops, sorry for the typo guys. Now tap on use this folder, then tap on allow and then tap on use it. All right, now we're in the widget selection menu. So let's swipe right and select flow. Then tap on the search button up here and search for the widget 041. Move down a bit and select this one right here 
and then just tap past and skip these prompts like so. Now we need to make some changes to the widget right here. So in the items tab, first tap on widget, then tap on stack group, select the bottom two items like so, and hit the bin icon on the top right hand corner of our screen to delete these items. Then go back a couple of steps and navigate to the layer tab, go to scale, and here let's set the scale of our widget to 150. You know what, let's set it to 175. Okay, let's hit the save button right here and jump back to the home screen to see how it's looking. Pretty good to be honest. Okay, so let's move on to our second widget. So tap on the bottom placeholder like so. And from the skin selection list, select vanilla KWGT. Then tap on search. Then search for the widget 104. There we go. Let's tap on it to select our widget. And for this one too, we need to make a few changes. So from the items tab, tap on stack group and then select the first one right here called overlap group and simply delete it. Let's save it and jump back to the home screen real quick. Mm, I think we need to scale down our widget a tad bit. So tap on the widget once again, go to the layer tab and set the scale of our widget to 95 and then hit save. Yeah, this looks way better in my opinion. All right, let's swipe on over to our next page and take care of the final two widgets. Let's tap on the top one, head over to the skin list and here select mini music player. Then tap on the search icon and here we are looking for the widget 070, which is this one right here. Let's select that and here if you get this notification saying that you need to grant notification access, just go ahead and tap on fix and that will lead you to the settings page where you need to select KWGT and grant it the notification permissions and this will take care of the permission necessary for our widget. Next head back to the widget settings page, go to layer, set the scale of our widget to 105 and then swipe up and get to the home screen. Our music player widget is all set up and looks great. And finally, let's tap on the bottom widget placeholder like so, and you know the drill. So just like we did previously, head over to the skin selection list, swipe all the way right and select instinct this time around. Then tap on the search icon up top, search for the widget number 44, scroll down a bit and tap to select this one right here. Now it's a sin to leave this widget pure stock. So let's tap on overlap group, Select the first two items like so, then go ahead and delete the items. Hit save to save our widget. Next go back to the previous page, tap on layer and then tap on scale and change the scale of our widget to 130. Now let's go back to the items tab once again, select overlap group, go to position, tap on Y offset and make sure its value is set to 40. Then tap on OK, save our widget and jump back to our home screen. Beautiful. Oh, there's one more thing that we need to do with the widget. Let's tap on it once again, tap on overlap group and then select the first overlap group like so. Scroll down a bit and select the second last item right here and then tap on text. Here just delete one of the four E's from the text field right here and tap on the tick icon up here. Now finally hit save and now we should be good with all of our four widgets for our home screen. Alright, now that we are done setting up our widgets, we can't just keep them like that, can we? because tapping on them will lead to the widget settings page which is not quite desirable. So we need to make them functional and this is how you're going to do it. So we'll start off with the top widget right here and head over to the touch tab. Then tap on this field right here, tap on action and select launch app from the list. Then tap on app field, select the clock app and hit save to, well, save our changes. All right, moving on to our second widget and as you can see, there are multiple areas that we can interact with. So what we'll do is first remove the touch action of the entire widget and you'll do this by selecting the touch action as none. Hit save and now head back to the items tab. Tap on the stack group and then stack group once more and then tap on the overlap group. Go to the touch tab, hit on the plus icon at the top to add an action. Then tap on the action field for a couple of times and select launch app and this time from the app selection list, select the calendar app and hit the save button to save your changes. Now go back a couple of steps and select stack group and then select the first overlap group. For this one, add a touch action the same way like we did before and since this one shows you your weather info, select your desired weather app of choice which in my case is Appy Weather. Done. Next go back a couple of steps once again, select the bottom stack group and head over to the touch tab. Here add a touch action like we did previously but this time around select the action type as launch shortcut. Then tap on the shortcut field, scroll down a bit, select the settings shortcut and then scroll down and select battery. Then hit the save button and let's jump back to the home screen. As you can see, the widgets are now functional and opening up the desired applications like we set up just now. Perfect. 
So now let's move on over to the second screen and walk our way with the remaining two widgets. Let's select the weather widget down below and for this one, since we already have an actionable weather widget on the previous screen, let's keep this one as it is and just remove the touch action to the widget. And that's about it. Now for the music widget, if you check closely, you see that you already have touch actions assigned to most of the areas, including the volume button like so. So just like we did with the weather widget, all we need to do here is just remove the touch action for the entire widget and we should be good to go. Now just to double check, if you head over to the items tab and then tap on any one of them and move over to the touch tab, you'll find that they do have their corresponding actions already assigned to them. And this is what I love about the mini music player. So with that done and out of the way, we can now officially say that we have a fully functional aesthetic home screen set up onto our phones just like that. Now the perks of having a home screen set up like this one means that you'll be able to achieve a whole new look by just changing the wallpaper. This setup actually goes really well with the wallpapers from Wallroad, but be my guest and choose whichever wallpaper you like because creativity is an endless possibility my friend. Alright, so that was pretty much it for this home screen setup and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, definitely hit that like button and please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on a single upload. So this is me Rohit signing off, I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.